what is the role of set-top box data in measurement in the local markets? Well, in some markets, it's, uh, it's an extremely important role. Um, as you know, we have a provider in Rentrack that is exploring that um, 100%. We also have Nielsen, who's dipping their toe in that water as well. We can't get away from looking at big data sources of information. The world has become too fragmented. So whether we do that wholesale, as Rentrack is doing, or we do that um, in some combination of a hybrid with sampling, um, it, it's going to be part of the equation. It's really just about how we decide to move forward with it. So I, I think it's a very important piece of how we move forward um, and, and how we offer more insight, more information to customers. Automatic content recognition, ACR, is, mm -hmm. is becoming a much talked about um, endeavor. Do you, can you give us some insights on how that would work for you and your part of the business? I think it would be hugely beneficial for us um, and for television you know, content generally. You've probably seen in the last several weeks a number of analyses, one about Facebook and the reach of the Facebook audience, another about eMarketer. Um, eMarketer e did a report on time spent. Both of those studies, um, I think, will it will come to bear are somewhat flawed in their uh, approach, and the reason is because they're comparing themselves as always on media, always on digital media across platforms to a very specific um, version of television which is tied to the television set at certain hours of the day and not including time shifting. It's really not the way that we consume television. And part of the, the reason why those comparisons are made is because we can't capture and monitor and know where content is going in all of the different places and as soon as we can do that we can make much better comparisons between you know our digital medium and other digital media um, but until we can I don't think those comparisons are fair and it's um, detrimental uh, to marketers and agencies in the entire ecosystem. The challenge of good data versus more data Mm -hmm. Big what challenge. Do, what do, how, how do you overcome that? Well, you need to have people in your organization that really understand um, what data is clean, what data um, can be used. It's great to have a lot of data and a lot of data that you know comes from different places, but you need to know how to organize it. You need to know what's relevant and not relevant. Um, you need to have people who focus on what the questions are and not what the infinite possibility of answers are. So any good market researcher will tell you that they have this enormous data set and it's like a playground to them, but it means nothing unless they know what they're looking for. Um, if you don't ask the right questions, you're not going to answer them properly. So it's great to have all those you know toys in the playroom so to speak but you want to use the right one to answer the right question now some people say the the benefit of big data is that it will lead us to answers to questions maybe we didn't know we had to ask right it's that you know being able to pull the camera lens out and look at a wider view and seeing a pattern that we never saw before um, and that's terrific but you can't apply that approach all the time. You need to, to be very deliberate and diligent about how you use the data um, and then also be able to pull out the scope and say, okay, maybe we're looking at the problem a little bit, you know, skewed. Um, and if we had looked at it from a different perspective, we would come up with a different answer. That's the benefit of having the data. Um, but you still need practitioners who know that they need to ask the questions from different perspectives to get at that as opposed to just you know running a program or a logarithm or you know whatever it might be and saying here's the answer um, and I think it's a crisis with with management as well because you have a lot of CMOs and CEOs um, that are frankly panicked um, the idea of big data you know there was a there was a, a book um, recently that was written in the last 10 years that had to do with 
um, Infinite Choice, right? And uh, I think it was Barry Schwartz who wrote the book. Um, and you know, the idea is that the more choice that you give people, the more panicked they become. And um, you really want to be able to give them a finer set of choices so that they don't become overwhelmed um, with choice. So, you know, I think the, the most important thing about big data is that we help our clients, our marketers, our agency partners, our media partners manage the fear around data, that we don't paralyze ourselves in the process of trying to learn something new, and that we invite as many people into the conversation with us. Uh, to really understand how to use the data and not um, take the people who are more of the uh, traditional researchers, market researchers, people who have a lot of experience, we don't want to exclude them from the conversation because they have a lot to offer, especially as we develop these you know, hybrid professionals that will lead us into the future.